Treasure Trove is a system which ensures that archaeological objects of cultural significance are uh, protected for the benefit of the nation in museums across Scotland. Um, so in Scotland we consider artefacts to be national property um, and so it means that these objects don't languish in private collections um, but are available for everyone. The Treasure Trove unit is based in the National Museum of Scotland. Uh, we have a website where you can find our contact details. Uh, we also have uh, a Facebook page uh, if you just look at Treasure Trove Scotland and we also have a Twitter page as well which is at uh, TTU Scotland. Uh, we have a leaflet here where you can find more information about Treasure Trove and we also have a new a wee guide to Treasure Trove which gives you some more contact details too. What's happened is the fort was a very neglected area in the town and we've decided that as, it was, as it's so unusual and so rare our community group has now brought it back to light and it's let the whole of Scotland and the UK realise the importance of this wonderful fort at Eyemouth. It's totally voluntary, we've got all the community organised and we brought it back to life. They go onto our website and all the details are there and we would love to have you because we do all sorts of fabulous things. Scotland's urban past. Could you tell me a little bit about Scotland's urban past? It helps you be an urban detective. It's for urban places with more than 3,000 people. It's for them to capture their place record, engage other people, share the story of their place creatively. We provide free training on that and it could be in all sorts of skills that benefit the individuals and the groups. That's easy, they can start by looking to follow us online, they can sign up for our newsletter, they can come to workshops that will be running lots of training events across the country, they can get in touch with me and ask to discuss a project idea, propose an idea. I'm Carol Primrose and I'm involved in two different groups. One of them is Lamhill Stables and this is a group which took over the derelict stables which were used by the ponies for pulling the barges on the canal, the Forth and Clyde Canal and it's now used as a kind of general community um, project centre. We have gardens, we have bicycle repair sheds, we have people being taught how to do canoeing, all sorts of things but they're also interested in the history of the area and that comes back to another um, group I'm involved with, which did a survey of Mavis Valley, one of the deserted mining villages on, on the side of the canal. This particular survey was part of a commemoration of the centenary of a disaster in Cadder 15 Pit, which is very close to the area. And so we commemorated the men who died, some of whom lived in this village, and what we're now going to do is try to get a wider view of the lives of the people who lived in these villages and along the side of the canal. We've got money from Heritage Lottery Fund in order to develop the history and the experiences. We'll be doing uh, community archaeology, we'll be doing oral history, we'll have various projects for children. Um, we're hoping to get a Clydesdale horse and a barge to give people rides up and down to see what it was like. We might get a little pony to be a pretend pit pony so that children get a kind of idea of what it was about. Uh, they would contact the heritage officer whose name is Maggie McBean and they can get her at lamhillstables.org or they can telephone her on 0141 945 4100 and we'd be very glad to hear from people even if you don't live here but if you have any knowledge or you know of people who did or you have any interesting stories, then we'd be very glad to hear from you. Uh, Resource in Scotland's Heritage is a Heritage Lottery funded training programme and we're delivering training all across Scotland and it's about fundraising. So it's helping heritage groups and organisations to become more effective with their fundraising and to look to diversify their income streams. So we're looking at private sources of funding. So we look at individuals, companies and private trusts and foundations. They can visit our website, so www.resourcingscotlandsheritage.org. Yeah, of course, it's the Scottish Cultural Resources Access Network. And um, what it is, is it's a huge collection of um, over half a million images that can be viewed from your library, from your home, and they've come from all sorts of different places and lots of different archives. Um, I've got some examples here on our cards. Um, so we've got um, you know, something from the National Mu uh, Museums of Scotland, um, Stirling Smith Art Gallery and Museum, um, and the Scottish Life Archive as well.
So there's lots of things. And the great thing about it is that it's a resource that you can use in lots of different ways. So if you were doing a project on uh, the history of your high street, then some of this uh, material here might be really useful to you. Similarly, if you were doing a uh, project on veterinary medicine and its history, um, Scran is there for you as well. So it's used in lots of different ways, used in schools. Um, it covers all parts of the curriculum and the staff um, on working on Scran can advise you uh, how to use it as well. But what's really good is it's actually free from your local library as well. Um, I'm here with two hats. I'm here for the Canusi Heritage Festival and the James McPherson Society. They're both connected. Uh, Canusi is the town of festivals and one of them is a heritage festival. It's in its fourth year um, and we're focusing on the 18th century. This year we focus on this man, local boy done good. He single-handedly changed the way um, we think about the world. He's the father of romanticism. His translations of Gaelic poetry uh, kick-started romanticism and he's from can you see he became government spin doctor and was the, the, the main 18th century man of letters he's wonderful um, and we're bringing the two together to spread knowledge about him and make can you see an even better place they, they, they can go to our websites uh, can you see heritage festival .wordpress.com and James McPherson Society .wordpress.com there's email addresses they can get in touch with us um, always have to find out more heritage festival is in April next year come along